Our coverage of lean recovery begins tonight in Swannanoa. Like many other areas in western North Carolina, it sustained extensive damage. CBS 17 anchor Angela Taylor joins us live from there right now. Angela, you've been showing us this damage all day. Yeah, it is. Uh, it, it's really hard to look at, and it's really hard to listen to those 911 calls. And we're talking about cars that were flooded out. There are so many here that are actually still abandoned. We saw a young man come by earlier. He took the license plate off to um, off of his car um, and then left. But you can just see there are cars everywhere. There's damage everywhere. And there are people starting to clean up, but it is going to take some time because this damage really is widespread. I want to show you what we did early this morning. We saw an aerial view with the Civil Air Patrol. We toured Marshall, a small community whose downtown is destroyed. Now, we made our way to Asheville to see damage there. All you see is dirt and mud. Quite a bit of cleanup will have to take place. Now, we also saw what's left of Chimney Rock. It is a popular tourist town that has lost so many buildings, many of which are Airbnbs that families rent out. And all that debris was carried into Lake Lore. That's what you're looking at there. Now, Scott Stevens, our pilot and a resident of Asheville, he's lived there for 15 years, says he's never seen anything like this before. This area has never seen anything quite like this. Not to this scale, no. There are a couple of benchmark events that everybody who's lived in Asheville knows about. The 2004 floods when Biltmore Village was underwater from a pair of hurricanes that year. The 1916 flood that put a lot of the city underwater. And this is that new benchmark. Um, it's one of the things we were talking about the other day that for the rest of our lives, Helene will be the measure against all other storms. Yeah, and two of Asheville's um, water plants are actually in the mountains, and they were destroyed during this storm, so it could be a while before they make permanent repairs to that. 